forget everything. Hi, hi, hi. What's up? Um, yeah, okay. We're just... I... Oh, I can't even talk. How am I supposed to make a video when I can't even talk? Hi, what's up? So today, we're just getting straight into it. Um, we're making a glow-in-the-dark, glow, magic, bouncing ball. I don't know. I don't know. kind of don't know what to expect at all. Um, this is kind of all I know. So I was shopping one day. I saw this at the store. And I was at a store that was, like, closing down. So I got this, like, kind of cheap. I don't know how much it was. But science, technology, engineer. It's a STEM, STEM thingy. And I don't know. We're going to make a glow-in-the-dark, glow, magic, bouncing ball. So, let's just do it. Ooh, I see some pretty glowing powders. Okay, that's it. That's all. It's, this is, um... So, when I was a kid, me and my little cousin made something similar to this, I think. So, I don't know if it's gonna be similar to that. I mean, we were little, so, like, I don't remember what happened. But, like, you know, maybe it'll be the same maybe it'll be similar i'm not really sure but anyway the point is i don't really know why i brought that up i just did you'll also oh boy you'll also need eye protection nah a bowl of clean water to rinse your brush between colors okay fine a paper towel to clean up any spills or mess yeah whatever an empty bowl and a measuring cup i did not think this through i should have done this at my desk okay so actually before we continue i want to put these like under the light and stuff and see what glows and like how much it glows so we have paint and then we have the like powder so let's see um okay the powder doesn't seem to be glowing at all it's weird okay maybe the paint glows i don't know Okay, yeah, the paint glows, like, 100%. Two glow-in-the-dark paints, one, or two crystal powders. So, I think maybe the powders are just, the powders just don't, I think that's why you have to paint it. I'm gonna be honest, these directions are BS. They're making it more complicated than it needs to be. Um, this is definitely meant for kids. This is, this is too complicated for kids. They could simplify it so much, okay? You don't need eye protection. You can use the same bowl for all three things because you need a bowl of clean water to rinse your brush between colors, okay, whatever. You need an empty bowl and you need a bowl. Wait, I'm kidding. Basically, it says that... You are supposed to put this together, okay? Then you put the then you put the stuff in it. Then you put it in cold water and then you move it to another empty bowl to like drain it when really all you could do is like dump this and then okay. And then you need a paint bowl like to wash your brush. So once again, you just fill this up again and then use this for your paintbrush like you you just need the one and you do not need it says you need a measuring cup and there is nowhere on these directions that it says you need an exact measurement of stuff it says one cup of water but it's not one cup has nothing to do with anything because you're just setting this in there so you just need enough water to submerge this for one minute because it says put it in for one minute and it says don't do any longer than a minute so i'm not going to do any longer than a minute so we're gonna do well should i'm think i was thinking should i mix the i feel like i should mix colors like why not right let's let's mix colors okay first we have to put the mold together um which like kind of isn't working what Oh, because I was trying to put the thing inside of the other thing, and it was actually, she put the one thing inside of the other. Whatever, whatever. I need more hands than I have right now. So, we're going to do a little bit. This is so prone to spilling. Oh, that's kind of too much. Ah, too much. Back to green. I really wonder how this is gonna turn out. Oh, there are little holes in it, which I get. There has to be like holes, but like, 
it's making like stuff is coming out like no i just kind of spilled it it's okay i didn't spill that much i'm just gonna finish it off with pink okay it says almost full and uh this is very full so whoopsie but uh oh now that i tap it it's all good okay so now it's full so now going to submerge wait does it say submerge i don't know what it says oh boy place the mold upright into a cup of cold water for one minute so just just place like it's gonna like tip o oh no it's not but it needs to be it like over oh geez all right it just sank to the bottom i hope that's supposed to happen so here it is in my cup of water um, now I have to set a timer for one minute. Set a timer for one minute. Your timer. Okay, great. Um, all right, let's be ready for when it comes out. So basically, when it comes out, I just gotta take it out and then dump the water and then put it back in the cup to, like, drain or whatever. So, uh, now we wait. All right, so now, um... Yeah, draining. All right, so now it sits in the cup for five minutes and it kind of looks like it's trying to like overflow. So that's awkward. Um, I hope that's not a problem, but set a timer for five minutes. Now we uh, wait five minutes, I guess. All right, so here's my ball, all nice and uh, drained. So I guess as it dries, it expands, which kind of doesn't make any sense, but it's going to be really easy to take apart, so, um, hopefully this goes well. Um, it's actually kind of hard. Oh. Oh, it makes, like, a, a pattern. Oh, it's kind of squishy. That's kind of scary. Oh. It feels like a real, like, bouncy ball. Like, why? It's not shaped like one. Um, I think it's not supposed to expand that much. I think that I put too much in it, but that's okay. Um, we'll just learn for next time. I have plenty of dust stuff left. So here's my ball. That's it's more of a oval, but it's fine. Um, it kind of, I was a little skeptical. I was like, is this gonna actually bounce? But it kind of feels like it's gonna bounce. So let's, um, let's try it. It's pretty bouncy, like, but like, look at the pattern. Look what I did, like, it looks like I could eat this, honestly. It looks, it looks good enough to eat. It's super cool, okay. It says store in plastic baggies when I'm not using it, which I think is a little weird, but. So it's not like a real bouncy ball, but like kind of. All right, let's make our next one. I'm gonna make an all green one because honestly there's so much powder like we're gonna make an all green and an all pink and then the last one will be like all green here we go it doesn't i don't think it says how many balls it's supposed to make but i think it's gonna make like three all right round two cup of water putting it in have significantly less in there so that you know it doesn't expand so much and it can be you know actually like ball shaped one minute is up. All right, five minutes is up. This one did not expand at all, I don't think. Just at the top a little bit. So I think I need even less dust, which is kind of crazy, but you know, anyways. This one is like a very vibrant green, wow. Oh, it's, too, it's a little too sticky. So I think I'm gonna put it back in the cup for another like minute um it's very sticky so i feel like that means it's not dry enough it's still very sticky but more towards the top than anything so i'll just try not to touch the top this is, like kind of like shaped like a basketball kind of i feel like i don't know this one was not as good maybe i don't know i don't know i think it just needs to dry out more anyway All right, into the water. All right, it has already been a minute, so. It has been five minutes, again. Oh. 
This one's like squishy too. I mean like sticky. It's like sticky. Why are they sticky? I don't not understanding. Okay, it's less sticky. So I just feel like maybe it needs a little more drying time. Maybe five minutes is not enough. Maybe it should be more like 10. Or maybe it's because it's in the open air. And now I'm going to try and finish off the pink, see how far we get, and then put green in for like the rest. Pink is all gone. There's only like room for like a tiny bit of green. All right, into the water for one minute. It's already been a minute, geez. These minutes go by really fast. So five minutes, again, we know the drill by now. This one I let sit for like 12 minutes. So see how, how this one goes. It's like kind of weird. Um, it's less sticky, it's still sticky though. A little bit, yeah. Um, anyway, it's like kind of, I should have put more on the top, so that's my bad, but like the green like really, since there's so little green, I feel like it like blends too much. All right, it's still very sticky, so that one has to dry out too, even though I let it sit for longer. Anyway, we are on to the very last one, no matter what, because I'm not even sure that this is gonna fill it, Last one. All right, so it did. I think it ended up filling it. In the water for the last time. It's already been a minute. Seriously, like one minute goes by so fast, I swear. Okay, time for this one, which I also let sit for a very long time. Um, not very long, I don't know, just longer. Okay, um, I'm kind of going crazy. I don't know. Jeez, still too sticky. Jeez, why do I have hiccups? Oh, very sticky. All right, let's let it dry. So now I'm going to wash this out and put water in it for the painting. I'm kind of wondering how this paint is going to work on them and like how it's gonna affect the bounciness you know because like it's paint you know like i feel like if it dries and gets hard or something like and you try to bounce it on it it's either gonna crack the paint or maybe it's a special paint i don't know or it's not just not gonna bounce so i'm interested to see what happens so we are not gonna touch this ball at all i love I love how it looks, so we're not even gonna touch this one. So we're gonna start with this pink one, and we're gonna do some green. Um, there it is, I don't know, it kinda seems like normal paint to me. Brush is unfortunately bent. Ooh, I wanna do like in the lines. I don't know, I, I kinda don't wanna paint it that much, but at the same time, the paint is the glow part, so I do wanna I wonder if the water activates the like glow of the ball be interesting let's try it let's just try it I think it would make more sense if the actual ball glowed too and not just the paint but no it really is just the paint that's so weird all right well I'm just gonna I'm honestly just gonna paint this whole thing green I think as far as I can like I really like glow-in-the-dark thingies and I want it to be glow-in-the-dark I think what I'm gonna do is today I'm gonna paint this whole thing see if it still like bounces well after I've painted it and then another day I will paint the rest actually no no I'm gonna paint all of them because we still have that one that I'm not painting at all to like test the bounciness, you know? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint all these and then I'm gonna wait for it to dry, of course, and then we're going to test the bounciness after the paint is all dry on them. All right, so that's kind of all I can paint of this one right now, um, cause I gotta set it to dry. So we'll paint the other side, you know, when it's all dry. I'm gonna paint the other pink one. I'm gonna paint it pink. 
I'm gonna paint some of it pink and see if the pink even shows up on the pink ball. But even if it doesn't show up, I'll paint like the green parts pink. I kind of don't like how it looks right now. I still like how it looks on here, just not like on here because it's all like scattered and there's the pink. It's I really like this version of pink. I don't know. It's really pretty. Do it on the pink part. Yeah, it doesn't even like show up like whatever. Why would I paint the green parts pink when I'm just gonna paint the ball green? Wait, no, I do want to paint it pink because then it'll like glow pink. I don't even know what I want to do. I'm just gonna paint it pink. All right, that's all I can paint of that one. So we're gonna let it dry. Next, I'm painting this green one pink. I kind of like how it looks with like the green on pink. I just feel like you can't really do designs on these. So I'm just gonna straight up paint them. Thought I was gonna do designs, but then I also thought the nor the mold was like completely round, I guess. I don't know, it just makes more sense to me at this point to just paint the whole thing. All right, time to let this one dry. Now I'm painting this one, also pink. It's like not going on very well. This one is still, I feel like a little, the side is weirdly smooth. All right, so I gotta let those dry, so see ya sometime. Hey guys, so I have a not so funny story for you. Um, I put the balls in this bag, as you know, and they molded, um, because, you know, moisture and stuff, and, uh, they are all very moldy, so I'm not taking these out of the bag. I am throwing this out. I put it in a bag, and I put it under my bed, so I could finish this video later when, you know, they had dried. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, here's my, uh, moldy used to be bouncy balls so uh thanks for watching please leave a like comment subscribe and all that fun stuff even though this was a fail um i hope you'll still support me um i am going to be using the paint still because like there's still paint it's glow in the dark which is cool so i'll find something to paint with this so i'll still like use that just uh not these so anyway, I hope you leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and have a super great day.